Welcome to No Man's Sky Survive Mode. Here we are up on this Gek space station because in this part I want to see if I can tidy up some of these milestones. I mean I'm not going to do it all in this part because you can see some of these have got quite a lot of work to do and what I would like to do is complete the standings for the Mercenaries Guilds, Merchants Guild and maybe get as far as this and this is going to be a, a focus that it will lead us up to the beyond update which i reckon is now going to be released in the say the first week in august and i'm recording this on the 4th of july so you can say we've got about another four weeks to go before the update drops and of course we're still waiting for uh, sean murray's keynote speech which is, which is going to come out fairly soon and as soon as we get any additional information about part three i will bring it to you guys and we'll talk about it but I think what I really need to do is just try and get this playthrough in a position that when Beyond uh, is released, if there's any late mid, if there's any mid to late game features, we'll be able to check them out. So what I want to do is first is check these missions, see if there's guys got anything that is worth doing that will push forward. What I want to do, we've got to locate a missing person, but that's Explorers Guild. We've got Hunt Pirates. We've got Raider Planetary Harvester. That gives us Fusion Accelerant. I, I like that because that is a Merchant's Guild mission. So we're just gonna we're gonna grab that and then we're gonna go down here and we're just gonna complete that mission. The other thing I also want to do is try and tidy up some of these missions as well. So we've got high rip plans, creatures. We've got some pictures to take. And we well, we've got to kill some sentinels. I'd love to kind of, and and that's the status that I want to do is just try and push. Yep, thank you, game. Now, if any of you guys follow the series, this is a new system that I came to, as I have been playing quite a lot off camera, not specifically to push forward the milestones, but it's been quite warm in the UK, and which has made life a little bit uncomfortable, and. What I've been doing is just, well, doing what I always do. Whenever I'm getting a bit annoyed or I just want to chill out, I always turn to No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has always been my chill out game. And that's what I've just been doing. I've just been playing quite a lot off camera, just doing some exploring, you know, wandering around, tidy. And of course, what I have done is I've had a good tidy up of my inventories. And if we get time, I will show you what I've done with the... Uh, haulers that I had stacked on, stashed on my capital vessel. I've gone through a lot of their inventory, sold off a lot of the junks, tidy things up generally. And, and again, it's all part of this preparation of for when the Beyond update comes out. I mean, it could not be necessary, but at the same time, well, you never know. And the other thing I've also done is, if I show you here, you can see I've got over a thousand million credits as well. I mean, I'm not expecting to spend that, but the money's just piling up at the moment. <laughs> so it's a still industrial secret. Okay. We may get some sentinels, because I've got some missions to kill sentinels. So we could uh, get into some battles with sentinels. Whoops. This looks a bit of a... Uh... When I would like to go to a new system in this part as well, just to try and, again, just try and increase the number of systems visited which seems to be a little bit of a requirement we're just going to pop in here um, and I am tending to use Wonderlust a lot more than the other ones I can hear yeah we've got, got some quads here entrances there oh wow I I didn't realise I depleted my plasma launcher. Oops. Let's get the combat system. This guy's got armour plating. Reload. Right, let's just get in here because that's the mission. 
paint. Okay, we've got a walker outside as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to take on a walker. We could probably take on Mon from space. I'm just going to download this mission. Required data should return to mission agents. Thank you. When we could be a bit cheeky and just hang around in here and check this place out. So until that sentinel calms down, then we can shoot him up using the element of surprise. I mean, hopefully killing those um, quads will have cleared up some of my outstanding missions. What have we got down here? We got, oh, we got another one. Vault down here. Hmm. I mean, another reason why I'm piling up lots of money is just in case there are new features which, say, involve upgrading ships and or something like that. You never know. Just going to keep just grabbing random um, plants like this. Some more die, a little bit of dihydrogen. Anything on the tables here? Another three seconds. This it's almost points out that the walker is over here. I mean, sometimes the walkers just disappear when the timeout. There's another one over there. Once we grab that. I mean, not that I actually need ammunition, but well, you never know. Shields at maximum. Looks like the walker has actually disappeared. Never mind, that's a shame. And I think we're just going to get over here. I'm not going to worry about the green crates, which is. Mm, it's a little while since I've dropped a manual save as well, so we'll just grab that in Huggy's Griff. That. I mean, there's a creature up there. Might as well do a bit of scanning. You never know. Actually, I've got uh, a mission to scan some rocks as well. So, might as well scan. If we can get this mission done as well. I think it's rocks, or it could be plants. Well, we'll, we'll just have a wander around and do some scanning. We got the protection at the moment, so we're okay from that point of view. I mean, this is all cash, but not that I need the cash, but never mind. Let's get in there. And let's get in there. And let's we'll scan another little rock here. Actually, what I'm going to do is we're going to come here. I'm going to take a picture as well. Yeah, the thumbnail. And, uh, yeah, I had a feeling that there, I had a mission to take pictures. And, that's another mission off the list. Okay. And of course. I think time to get up into space. And we'll see what that is. I mean, if it's well, we're going to be fighting. But yeah, thank you. Just keep going for the space station at the moment. Morning. 
Okay. Right, they're coming in at front of us. There's two of them. Whoops. Hesitated there with the missiles, but. Miss. Great. Okay, we'll just take these guys down. Yeah, I was a little bit hesitant there. Mind you, it's very early in the morning at the moment here, and I haven't been up very long actually. Um, wow, the ship's not flying very well actually. Wait, it's not floating. Let's get in. Just gonna bump the shields up. And I've got plenty of resources, so. Yeah, so reaction time's a little bit down at the moment. I mean, at the moment, the only time I can really record is, is early in the morning, because it starts to get a bit too warm later on. And it's not like I can't, but it's just wearing the headsets, and it becomes very unpleasant when it's really warm. Never mind. That's my problem, not your problem, guys. that. An unknown planet there. Oh, that's a hexagonal planet. Right, let's just get back to the space station. Right, what we need to do is, there it is, there's the entrance. And I've missed. I always wonder sometimes how you can actually miss this entrance, but never mind. And hopefully we will have a few missions to cash in. We've got a couple of ships coming in. I think there's mainly shuttles in this system. Nothing particularly special. There's a 21 slot shuttle there. Well, that looks interesting. Bet you it won't be have much in the way of slots yet. 18 slot. Um, Hello Games, give us the opportunity to upgrade ships, you know, good, so we can build some really cool looking ships without having to turn them over because they don't have much in the way of slots, store stuff. I mean, that would be really great. Handed missions, there we are, look at that. We've got some. Yeah, kill two central quads. Some cryo pumps. That's going to be useful for my advanced manufacturing because I can't manufacture cryo pumps at the moment. I've got some more cash that I don't need. Uh, kill seven sentinels. Hopefully, I will get some standing with the Vikinas increased. Thank you. Uh, standing with the Explorer's Guild has increased me. Yeah, well, I'm already maxed out with the Explorer's Guild. Mercenary's Guild, that is useful. And of course, we've got the one here. Your standing with the Merchant's Guild has increased. Um. I don't really want to do any of these. It's, that's the Explorer's Guild. I'm not interested in that. We could hunt pirates on level 5. I think we're going to go to a new system, actually. Let me just have a quick look at what we got there. Well, that can go to the suit. That can go to high capacity. Oops, I just saw some junk there. That I don't know why I did that. Coordination is a little bit out. Let's see. Uh, let's sort that out that way. And um, yeah, we got two cryo pumps that could be useful. One fusion accelerant, 
that really needs to be taken and put down in the Colossus. Salt, that can go to there. That can go to the high capacity. That can go to high capacity, although I'm probably over the top with Pugnium. Actually, that can go back to the Exosuit. So we're looking good there. Right, let's see what I want in the way of milestones. So, Merchant's Guild, you need another 29 of those. Two more of them. Maybe if we concentrate on mercenary missions. I wonder if I could get up. That's the thought. You, you have got a, a mission here, haven't you? Kill pirates. Yeah. Let's go with that. We will be getting to a new system, guys. It's just suddenly thought if I can at least get the the leveling up for the mercenaries guild done in this part, that would be a, quite a significant step forward. Save back into the ship, and of course this will be to destroy a bounty ship. Yeah, where are you? Now I did do one of these missions off camera uh, a couple of days ago and was actually trying to run the actual uh, the bounty ship down. I actually got attacked by another ship for some reason. It's like this, I just got in range and suddenly it's, it's the game. Wow, okay. Missed him. Ah, you can't hit anything at the moment. Yeah, and suddenly I was attacked by other ships. And I wasn't exactly too sure what was going on. I mean, I didn't hit anything. But, so I don't know if that is a feature with these missions, that sometimes the bounty ship gets additional support. Because so I ended up, instead of having to destroy one ship, I had to destroy three. Again, it's it hasn't completed the mission. Okay. Oh no, it's, it just took a little while to do it. A bit more tritium. Supervise whoever you are. Life form, handed mission. Hunt pirates, 54,000 credits. I think you kill a pirate, you get 54,000 credits. Go down on the planet and scan one plant, and you get more than that, you get 67,000. We've got that there. We didn't get a level up, which is unfortunate, but never mind. Got another hunt, dangerous pirates, but. Uh, I think we're going to go to a new system now. Back to what I was doing. Milestones. Fallback system. You need 10 of those. 10 of those. And we only need another 3 GEC systems. So if we, if we go to a GEC system, or should I just try and push one of these? A little bit difficult. I think what we're going to do is just we're just going to go random and see what see what's out there. Just grab here. Because we could go with something that's got that could look interesting. There's a water one here, medium supply. It's got was it? Th Looks like three planets. Yeah, we don't really need to go to a system with loads of planets on. This is a Corvac system. Okay, let's go for this. As I say, we don't really need lots and lots of planets because what I want to do is hop between as many systems as possible. 
just so that we can keep everything going. I mean, I'd love to swap ships, but the problem is if I, I can't really swap ships. We get into a battle? Yeah, why not? I suppose that's part of playing No Man's Sky. You just want to enjoy yourself. And sometimes it's just good fun, actually. I mean, I, this is what I've been doing over the last few days. Is not really planning on doing anything. I've just gone out and played and see where the game's taken me. And sometimes this is the, the way to actually play No Man's Sky. I mean, if you if you kind of start a session and say right I'm going to go do this I'm going to explore certain planets oops <laughs> I don't know it never seems to happen or well, not for me anyway and sometimes I say it's just better to, to just go with the flow uh, I'm not getting a deflection on this Fortunately, we I might actually improve my standing for the Corvax, I suppose, if this is a Cormax right there. I mean, I suppose that might help. Oops. He's going behind. Is he going behind? No. Oh, okay, got him. Be a bit careful when you're in very close to... Oh, look at that. I don't think I've ever done that before. Just fly... get away from the cargo pod. Don't really want to hit a cargo pod by accident. Lucky none of those uh, freighter. Uh, well, it looks like we might have got a little bit of favour with the locals. I'm not going to bother uh, boarding the ship. Let's have a little bit of scan round. Got over there. Got a caustic planet. Actually, back to missions. What have we got here? We've got. Let's see what photographic pictures we got. Desert world. Okay, let's see if we can find a desert world. And maybe we can clear up some of these uh, photo missions as well. In we go. Oops, spin round. So we're going to immediately going to check out the missions. The other thing I want to do is what the other thing I've and the other thing I've been doing quite a lot of recently is talking to these guys. I applaud. I want you to teach me some of your language. I don't want to. So hopefully, oh, this looks a bit more encouraging. Download, yep. Request, I left out. Because again, I've, I've just been trying to push forward with the, the, the language perspective. Here we are. And got the Corvex word for danger. And we get another one. The Corvex word for waters. A bit of an odd word, waters plural. And we've got another one. Word and language. And we've got temporal. And tap the Corvax. Concepts that like. Tap my fingers on the Corvax carapace. Other than that, a brief flick of their lights. Not seem to have had any effect. And because we got the traveller here. Now the traveller will offer us stuff, but um we don't actually get anything for it. 
Let's just do a barter out of curiosity. This waffling gives me a package in return. This is quite a horrible looking place, almost like round reptilian or like a snake. Well, we got 40, okay. But Browse missions. Right. Dangerous pirates. You deliver an item. Right. Got deliver an item here for the core banks. That's an explorer mission. I don't really want to take that on. You scan six creatures for the core banks. That will be useful. You can take that. Hmm. Deliver an item for the mercenaries here. Let's have a quick look. Why is my standing with the core banks? Yeah, see. Although we could do this and then push that forward. Our mercenaries guild. So you've got two off for the mercenaries guild. So if I come in here and that's the merchants guild. Okay, we're going to go and hunt, take on some more pirates, I know. Attempt to start or leave quietly. It's a all of their 46 all of because all my haulers are 48 now. What's that? B class as well. Dance of Brigands. Just gonna drop a save. Right, let's just go out and take out. Yeah, thank you. What have we got in front of us? Contaminated planet. Right, where is our target? There it is. Over there. And we're going to tag them. See if we can. I will try and hit something with a rocket in this video. This is out of range. Get in. Missed him again. Let's, let's go. Let's try the phase beam out. Hey. What I should have done really is change to my combat ship, shouldn't I? Bit of a fail there, guys. Maybe if we get. I don't seem to get the accuracy. Let's change the focus. I actually quite like the photon cannon really over the phase beam. The phase beam used to be better, I think, before the next update. Then they seem to nerf wow, okay. Uh, I, should, I should stop talking. <laughs> yeah, that was a case of too much talking and not enough shooting there. Found that's a that's a contaminated planet. What have we got over there? That's a caustic planet. And we'll just go and cash this mission in. Hello, have you moved? I'm sure you were over here. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. We haven't spoken to this guy yet. So if we can... Uh, off the... Hum. <laughs> I would have thought the callback's word for hum would be hum. And then I suppose, I suppose there could be a metallic version of hum, isn't it? Some more fusion accelerant. And our standing with the mercenaries guild is increased. That's good. 
Else missions. Locate a missing person. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. That's the last of the missions here. Potential details. Wow. That's very similar to the one I've already got. I really like those. Uh, okay, exalted. Have I actually got the... Okay, I've actually completed the Mercenaries Guild. I'm not sure how I did that, because I thought I still had one more level to go. So what we need to do now is level up the Merchants Guild. Okay. So that's now a lot more systems to go. Before we get this sorted out. Well, we're still going to do the missing persons one. And I was looking at ships. Well, that's 15 ships. What's that? Oh, that had wings on both sides. I said, wait, consider going for that. Right, let's just go down and do this locate a missing person. There it is. It's not far away, so we should be okay. Gotta do it guys. It's just too much of a temptation. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that, but sometimes there's just it's just there. Like we've got that's a nice greeting. Uh, that's a very nice greeting to be uh, get an incoming storm. Hmm. Enormous nuclear storms, high security. Oh, we might end up killing some more sentinels then. No, okay, I wasn't going to do any of these, but never mind. Wow, okay, we, we could get some good scoring going in here. Right, I'm not going to talk to him straight away. We'll talk to him first. And see if he's going to give us... we we'll ask for directions this time. Fair. Crash freighter. Great. Thank you. An extreme storm. So we've got extreme storm on an extreme sentinel planet. Well, I'm certainly going to take that. Fair. I'm going to take that. A bit more condensed carbon. It's going to that up. Got an ion battery. Hello, you waved to me, so you want to talk to me, do you? We'll get a bit more dialect going here. You've learned the Corvax word for level. Let's just send that. The high capacity, that high capacity, getting a lot more magnetized ferrite. Doing okay for the tritium. Need well just to top that up while I'm looking at it. <sighs> Iron batteries. Okay. Keep that. Actually, while I'm here, can I make? Yeah. It will just go straight for warps out. I'm going to put that in just yet, because that could be a waste. My hydrogen, that can go to high capacity. I've made some metal plates and ion batteries, because I did half have a... I had a half idea to do an exocraft exploration in this part, but as I said, I've got a bit distracted, so... What we're going to do is just sell off some of the junk. Uh, looks like we're getting a bit low on copper. Right, let's sell off the Herox and the Lemonum. 
keep the cryo pump. And uranium. Let's see if they got any copper or anything here. Um, ferrite dust. I'm going to buy the ferrite dust because I keep using it up. I know it's overpriced, but what, I mean, <laughs> the amount of money is negligible in relation to the, you know, what I've got. I mean, this is always one of the problems when you have bribed 50 gold. Okay. So it's navigational data to my access suit. Yeah, I mean, it's always one of the downsides with, with games like No Man's Sky. I'm not saying it's unique to uh, No Man's Sky. Wow. We've actually, warning, we've actually got a bounty target. I mean, it was showing a pirate in space, but I don't know where that pirate came from. Yeah, as, as, as I was saying, it's always a dilemma when you play games like No Man's Sky or any survival based game where you've got such a woo I've just flown right over the top of it I can't even see it in this kind of pea super horrible colour is that because the game is so long if you play it you get to a point where you've got absolutely vast sums of money and other resources and you've got nothing to do with it you know nothing to do with it it just becomes a way of keeping score, which is unfortunate. Um, and I, I, well, I don't, to be honest, I don't really know what the answer is. I mean, if you guys have got any suggestions. I mean, because, yes, you can get more and more rarer items and, and things which cost more and more money, but there is a limit to how much you can do. As a target, okay, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the nature of what things are, I suppose. Uh, let's do a buy. I don't think I've got anything to sell. Some sodium. I don't really need that. I wouldn't mind the dioxide. I do use it occasionally. And it has been dropping. And it saves me having to, yeah. It saves me having to make any or anything like that. Dense carbon and high capacity. A little bit of cobalt, I'm not too sure where that came from. I mean, ammunition wise, oh, that can go to the high capacity as well. And I suppose I could start another one, although I, I really need more than a, a thousand ammunition. Ah, look at that. It's by the door. I see a oh, brief moment then I thought I saw a requirement for a predator. And again, I'm just on a long shot, guys. I'm just going to take a picture. I don't think I've got a requirement. Actually, that's better than the previous one I took. Maybe if I can get a little bit of an angle on the... Yeah, I actually like that. I find the menu. Yeah. No mission, other mission. I suppose what I should do is get back in here and you know, grab these and grab that. There's any sodium? Have a quick look at any other photo missions I've got. Um, right, tourist paper portraits, frozen beauty, take a photograph of buildings. Okay, what was this one then? A manufacturing facility. Well, we could try looking for one of those. Although, to be honest, in this these conditions, I think it might be a little bit difficult. And it's a little bit of a. There's some storm crystals there. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be a bit silly to try and find a manufacturing base in here. Yeah, so what we're going to do is get up into space. Right, what I'm going to do is I don't do I want to fight more uh, hostiles. Yeah, 
yeah, let's just let's head for the space station. It's another bounty agent. Obviously, this system is filling up with uh, um, bounty ships. Again, it'd be really great if Hello Games introduced like themes so that maybe you could become a bounty hunter or even a pirate actually that would be really great if you could do it I mean the problem with becoming a pirate at the moment is that everything the game mechanics would then work against you uh, convergence okay and in mission uh, locate missing person 239 nanites and our uh, mercenary skill has increased of course, that's the mission I took to, to get the standing, which I've already got. Um, uh, I suppose we're going to get some navigation data probably out of this. Sometimes you just can't get the, these. Okay, oh, I have to pop up. And um, we'll just have another quick look. That was a, let's see what that mission is. I mean, we're down to three, but nearly just over three pages. Creatures, feed creatures, or shoot some predators. Maybe we need to get down on a planet where we can find some predators. In the next part, what we'll do is we'll find a planet and go out and explore and just kill some creatures, I think. Take some photographs of the creature. Frozen Beauty. Take How can Frozen Beauty be a, a desert world? Right, I think just to wind this up, guys, what we're going to do is jump in the ship, drop a save, and going to get out into space. Yeah. And I think it's time to find another system. So let's go back to a Gek world. I think if we drop the filter. I think, uh, yeah, yellow is Gek. It's a B5F, and it's got Looks like it's three planets, one moon, and it's comfortable. Yeah, we'll go for this. So we're in the Euclid Galaxy, first contact. Oh, three planets, two moons, okay. And let's tab out. Okay, we're going to That's a contoured planet. What on earth is a contoured planet? Okay, we'll go check this out before we go to the space station. Entering new Habusta. No. Alright, okay. Oh! Wow, 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 wow. Oh, we've been on one of these before. But we can always sit down and claim it. Planets like this actually have a unique life form, and I think it's that rolling ball over there. Yep. And yeah, so we get 426,000 for that. Produces vile stench. Has it got any other? I mean, I'm not sure if this actually. Cable pod. What is a cable pod? Okay, we'll go check this out. Oh, it's one of these. I think I've already got one of these on my Facebook. Where I'll we'll pick it up anyway. Got a gold deposit. Don't really need gold. Well, I'll scan this as well. Got some more. I should just scan these just to, well, because we can. <laughs> what? 
Oops. Uh, just grab a little bit of dihydrogen. Generally, planets like this are quite peaceful. So if you, if you, if you see resources that you want, I think that. What's this little blue patch here? Is this here? I know. I can. What's that? Indium. Mm. Don't really need indium. I know I could have picked it up with the scanner, but sometimes I just like to look. Keep grabbing the dihydrogen. Okay, I think we've seen enough of this. Uh, there's a bit more dihydrogen over there. I'll just grab that, just for the fun of it. And I think just to wind this video up, guys, what I'm going to do is... Oh, go away, go away, go away, go away. I don't want to kill you. And don't pick a fight with me. Mayhem and destruction. I'm just going to jump in here. What was that? Haunted forest. see what that is that's an eradicated planet actually I've got that mission to to take a picture of a scorched planet I haven't seen one for a little while actually well maybe I should look for it okay we're back into the space station get up here and cash in these missions Beta rich findings. Return to mission agent. Find the mission agent. And of course, we got the get guys here. Remember, um, wave away the mist. Okay. I'm just gonna have a quick Skype through here and get, get some more language with a bit of luck. There we are. Um, I could actually ask for directions. No, I should, shouldn't have done that. We're just gonna have to find a. Let's just get here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to find a manufacturing base the, another way. So I can take a picture of it. Ask for more. Walk away. Bees and exhausted by the demonstration, I leave them to rest. We got the get word for skills. Keep pushing up the language. Okay. We'll find a manufacturing base in one way or another. Get word for converse. Okay. Word of their language. Get word for peaceful. We're, we're pushing things up here. But that's an, teach me a word. A word for scurrilous. <laughs> Would people be scurrilous? Right. And that in that should. That's another Corvax mission out of the way. I've increased my standing, but I don't need to increase my standard. A quick sky of the missions. That's explorers, not really interested in that. Three ancient keys could be useful. Repair a damaged item for the, what we really need. What we'll probably have to do is the this three ancient keys one, because that's for the merchant's guild. Because we were now leveled up with that. We've got some of these down here, which we could do. Although I don't really need to improve my standing with the gate. Then we need to do missions, if I remember correctly. Let's just have a quick look, guys. Yeah, I mean, we did a couple more get missions to get up to the next level there. Um, we could another two get systems, and we'll be up to that. Got a long way to go with the keen on two both levels. 160 words there. I've got 197 gek words now. That's interesting that. Oh, I don't know. I suppose, yeah. That's one, two, three, four, 
five. And there's one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's a difference there. And you've got 201 words. Maybe the callbacks have more words than the get and the keen. Although I've just said that the wrong way around. So, so that's the get. That's the, we've got to focus very much on that. We've got to get 29 levels of standing with the Merchant's Guild. You just back into here. Um, I'm just going to check. Okay, sorry, I've forgotten. Yeah, so we really need to do that mission there. Um, we could, I mean, that would be a very quick mission, actually, to do that, actually. I've got 50 copyright, so. And that would be, uh, maybe it should come up straight away if it says source item. Yep, yeah, I've already got it. Source item to client. Okay, just to finish this part off, I'm just going to go and do a, a quick delivery. It's not like I've got a shortage of copyright. I, can, I mean, I do grow it. Right, let's just get down and deliver this copyright. Of course, this will be a trading station. Just gonna jump out and of course we uh, got contaminated squalls. Right, gonna drop off the e copyright copyright. Um uh, the goods the secure depot, yep. Yeah. What we can do is just have a quick check. We've got nothing. Oh, well, we might have something to sell, but. Right. I'm just going to pick that cobalt up. Save me having to mine it. Metal plating, pyrite, pugnium. Certainly don't need pugnium. I don't think we actually need any starship fuel just at the moment. And. There, I really high hydrogen can go there. You nearly need to drop that cable pod off somewhere. Turn to mission agent, yeah. Well, we're... I'll do that off camera, guys, because I think you're pretty familiar with uh, the process of cashing missions in by now. And uh, we got a get word for alluring. Uh, I suppose some people see Gex as alluring. I mean, they're no, they look better than the Fakin, I suppose. Let's ask for directions. Manufacturing base, please. Signal detected. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get word for relations. Let's have a quick sky out here, guys. Nope, nothing there. Some stuff on that corner over there. Tucked in the corner there. That and navigational data. Always wanted navigational data. Just gonna grab that. Warp cell, yes. I certainly take the warp cell. So maybe there is a reason to um, check these places out. Some little bit of dihydrogen jelly. That must have been a reward as well. That can go into the high capacity. We've now got two warp cells. Ferrite dust can go to the high capacity. And I think I'm just going to need to, the oxygen can go to the high capacity as well. And the ammunition can go to the high capacity. A microprocessor, deuteronium, can go to the high capacity. Okay. So we've got a big pile of tritium. I'm not too sure where that came from. Thank you again. Right, let's just again jump in the ship. And I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Yep, there we go. We've got some dihydrogen as a reward. 
So this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we will continue what I've been doing, trying to sort out these milestones, see if we can move them forward and get them as far advanced as possible so that when the Beyond update comes down, this mission will be in a position where I can, if necessary, look at any late mid to late game features, which I, I know I keep saying it, apologies. But until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.